Hello guys, my name is Eric Strzegiew and today I want to show you top 10 things that I use in Photoshop that greatly will sped up, that greatly sped up my process or maybe will greatly sped up your process or maybe you will learn something new or discover something new that you have no idea exists in Photoshop. So... The first thing we will start with are the shortcuts. So basically if you are doing anything, learning the shortcuts is a really great way to learn the software. So for example, if I will use the brush, because I will use brush most, or I will use some selection tool most, it's best to know what are the shortcuts for these things, because this way you will be able to pretty much work way quicker, because instead of going and pressing for the icon, choosing the tool and pretty much everything, you will only press a key on a keyboard uh, and just go straight to the to the tool you need. So it's pretty much a great thing, great tip to do in Photoshop if you want to learn it quicker. And one of the things that not a lot of people know, if you for example have a brush and you want to switch between the tools, because if you can see in the top right corner of every icon there is a small triangle thing it says there are some tools within the tool. So for example, if you have a eraser, you have three types of eraser. If you erasers. If you have a brush, you have four types of brush. So if you press B or you will get a brush, but if you will press Shift B, it will switch between the tools. Same for the eraser. If you will press E, you will have the eraser. If you will press Shift E it will switch between the tools. So for example, sometimes when I paint, I like to use, for example, this type of eraser or the magic eraser. It's easy to navigate between them if you know this shortcut, so it's fine. The second thing that is really useful is eyedropper tool and the possibility to switch where it takes its color. So for example, if I want to color this guy and I only want to work in the overlay blending mode and I by any reason switch the color from, for example, the red I was using and want to continue painting in this red thing. To basically get the same red color, I will need to go here, go to the blending mode, select normal, select the color, switch the tool, go back, press overlay, and then I can continue painting. But if I want to grab, for example, this blue, I will have to redo it from, from the start and it will be kind of annoying. But the nice thing about the eyedropper tool is at the top you can choose to take sample from current layer instead of all layers. So this way, if I will choose a color, as you can see, it will only choose the colors that are on this layer and it does not matter if it's on normal or overlay or anything. So this way, I will always make sure I'm painting with the right colors that I want. So it's a nice, nice small trick to use. If you like to have everything in one file, as I do, and usually my documents look like pretty much like this, especially before I group everything, and it sometimes might get a little bit heavy to navigate in it, but if you want to navigate quickly and to know what pretty much is where on the layer tab, because sometimes you will get way more layers than, than I have now, and you don't want to just press on the layer and try to move everything, press on the layer and just basically search for the layer you want to you want to have you can pretty much just go to anything you want to to find press v to go to the move tool and then if you will press ctrl as you can see in the top left corner auto select will just basically get checked and with auto select if i click on something photoshop automatically will select the layer it's on so for example if i want to move this guy it's in here. If I want to move these guys, it's here. If I want to move this guy, I did not press on him. Oh, it's here. So it's really easy to navigate with all of these guys together. The great thing is also if you want to select multiple things, if you were press V, Control and select one thing, press, sh press Shift and select other things, it will allow you to select multiple things from the same document. And if you want to group them, basically just press Ctrl G, it will group them into one, one folder. So it's a nice thing to organize your layers like this. It will greatly sped up your process, especially in my case it worked wonders, because usually I 
don't really worry about keeping everything like clean in the layer tabs so it was one of the things that are really nice in in my case and the next thing is uh, how to make a quick duplicate so it's quite an obvious one but if you want to quickly make some sort of a alternate version to try something new just to paint all over thing you can of course just select the thing move it to the new new layer like button on the bottom right and then move it but if you want to make it quicker you pretty much can just select the layer press alt and move it wherever you want and you will have a nice new duplicate if you want to move it like in a straight line if you move it to the right then press shift it will only allow it it will only allow you to move it from left to right if you go to the top and then press shift it will only allow it to move it from top to the bottom and if you go with the diagonal and then press shift it will only allow you to move your thing diagonally so it's quite nice thing especially if you are working on like multiple versions of one of one thing the next thing is the quick selection so if you want to make a quick selection of this guy for whatever reason just press ctrl press miniature in the layer tab and you will quick get a selection of this guy for example to fill the silhouette or to do whatever you want with it to keep a sharp edge a little bit better version of it is to create a new layer so for example in this case it will be ctrl shift n enter it's a new layer if you will press ctrl alt g it will quickly create a clipping mask so this way you can release it by pressing alt and between the layers or or clipping it by pressing alt and clicking between the layers once again so this way you can paint something inside of it and still move it within the limits of the thing you are cropping to so it's it's quite of a nice thing to have another thing especially if you have a messy layers like i do as i said is to color code the layers so if you will for example select a few different layers and you want to have them in this certain position but you want to have a quick access to them you can press right next to the uh, layer name and choose for example color for the layer so it will in this case be red or it can be green and later i can go here in the layers tab choose to show only the color ones and to choose green layers so this way it will only show me green layers so for example if you are dividing a painting a file into like 10 different colors because of reasons you need to have something it's a nice way to navigate between the things so it's nice the next thing is to pen the screen so sometimes you might want to basically move your screen to the right and from the distance paint something in here or you want to move it closer and just to move the screen here so you can do it by pressing space if you press space then a hand appear on the screen and you can move it the problem is when you go out of the full screen mode because in the you can pan your screen only in the full screen mode if you are not in a full screen mode then you will be only able to pan your screen if it's zoomed like close enough but if you will zoom out it will then snap to the center by pressing f you can go to the full screen mode and then panning will work without any problems same thing not the same thing but it works best if you are in the full screen mode is the rotating rotating the screen rotating the canvas so if you press r and then you can rotate the screen so it's not a huge secret but sometimes you may not know about it it's i guess from the cs6 or something like this and it's kind of nice to have especially if you don't like to draw alliance or something or paint uh, from a certain direction like from the certain angle so for example you want to make a straight line like in here so we will create a new layer whoa kind we'll create a new layer and i want to draw a straight line so by pressing shift i can draw it from the like left to top or if i press i can rotate the screen slightly and then draw it with with this thing so it's quite ni nice thing to have especially if you really need a uh, long precise lines but you want them to be drawn with uh, with a brush the last thing no the almost last thing is 
like increasing the screen size so if you will go to the full screen mode obviously you can have a lot more screen available because you get rid of all the windows that are around you and if you know the shortcuts it's really nice way to work because you have a lot of more a lot more space to work with but sometimes you might want to have some of this stuff still available so for example if you will press f and go to the full screen mode and then press tab everything will disappear but if you will press shift tab then only the dockable windows the floating windows will appear so we'll get rid of all the things on the left in this case so of the tools and or you will get rid of the top panel so this way you can save a little bit more space and work a little bit more comfortably and one of the things especially if you work with stuff like this when you have a lot of versions when things are overlapping and you just want to know what you are working with at the moment and you want to know where it is quickly if you will select a layer for example this one and you want it move to the you want to move it to the top of the layer tab you can pretty much press ctrl shift and the right square bracket this way this layer will get moved to the top or to the bottom depends if you will press on the left bracket or if you will press on the right bracket and i guess it's like the really top 10 things that i use in my work daily because it allows me to quickly navigate in photoshop to quickly work with the files w work with the complex file especially if i have like a, a shitload of layers and i don't know where is what like what is where so this way i can manage everything a little bit more quicker and to not stress about anything that that i have a mess in here so i hope you will learn something new in here it's a short video and thanks for watching